All right, on this monitor, you're seeing Samsung DeX running on One UI 8. And on the right hand side on this monitor, you're seeing the older version of Samsung DeX running on One UI 7. Samsung did make some changes and some improvements on the new Samsung DeX on the One UI 8. In today's video, we are going to see exactly that. Without wasting any time, let's dive right into the video. Now, the first thing you can notice here on One UI 8, the layout has changed. You have got all these applications right here at the bottom. Unlike the previous version, you can see on the previous version, we have got a desktop kind of an experience, whereas all these icons are on the top left corner and we have got the taskbar right there at the bottom. Whereas on the newer version, we have got a tablet experience now instead of a desktop experience where you can see all those icons are right there at the bottom. And we have also got a brand new app tray here. Let me just bring up the app tray here. You've got the app tray icon at the bottom. There we go. This is the brand new app tray and you can see we can scroll through this. I'm using the mouse here to scroll through these applications as you can see. And we also have this bar over here. When you're scrolling through these applications, you can uh, bring your cursor on this bar to uh, sort the application as per the alphabet. So that can be done right here and we have got the search button at the bottom. We can tap on that to search the application. Now on the previous version, as you can see, we have got the app tray right here at the bottom. App tray icon is here. Let me just tap on the app tray here. And this is how the previous version was. Now we can uh, tap on this arrow to the, go to the next page and we do not have that sorting option here. And the search bar is right there on top. Now, which one do you prefer? Drop a comment and let me know. I definitely prefer the newer version, the One UI 8's desk where we have got this app tray and we can scroll through the vertical app drawer and very easily pick up the applications that we want and open it. Now let's open a few applications here. Let me open my files. As you can see, I just opened my files here. Let me open Play Store and let me also open another application here, maybe setting. You can see we have got three applications opened up here. Now let me do the same thing on the One UI 7. Let's open Play Store and let's open Settings and let's open My Files application. Let me shrink this. There we go. We've got three windows open there. And on the current version also, we have got three windows open. Now you can see on the newer version, we have got this drop down arrow right here on top left corner. We can tap on that to snap to left, snap to right and send to other display. Other display is nothing but phone's display. We can uh, send this display to the phone display and the DeX on monitor will turn off. That is the option. And uh, let me just snap to left here. As you can see, the app has been snapped to left. Now let me tap on the Google Play Store. I'll click on this arrow for more options and I will snap to right. That is pretty cool. And on One UI 7, to put this window onto a split screen or let's say uh, towards the right or left hand side uh, window, then we have to drag it to the extreme right and that is when you will see that window opening in this uh, on, the, on the side. And uh, we can select the app that we want on the left hand side here. Let me select the settings here. Now you can see these two applications are open in two separate windows. That's how it works on the previous version. And on the current version, we have got the uh, options right there on the top left corner. We'll be able to just uh, tap on that to see snap left or snap right. Now let me put this towards left. Let's see what happens. Yeah, so that app has gone to the left. And uh, if I want to move to the right, I will have to uh, snap to right and then see this application. Now let me show you the recent application here. Let me tap on this button here on the recent. As you can see, this is how you're going to see the recent application on this brand new window here. On the top left, you can see one active application. And on the right hand side, we've got this three dot button uh, to go to the settings. And we have got an option to close all window. Whereas on the previous version, as you can see, I will just tap on the recent button here. This is how it looks. It's a plain background and we've got close all option on the top and we've got this uh, three dot button uh, where it says keep open. If you want to keep any of the applications open, you can do that. Whereas on the newer version, we've got the settings on the top here, as you can see. Let me just tap on the settings here. I think it's not doing anything. It has just opened up all the applications. Maybe that is still in the works. I'm not very sure. Uh, all the windows are opened up here. Now let's go to the recents again and let me tap on close all windows. Likewise here, let me tap on close all windows. Now let's take a look at the settings options that we have for DeX on One UI 7 and compare it with the newer version. Now when you go to the settings here, you've got Samsung DeX right here on top. You can just uh, double tap on this to open the Samsung DeX settings. Let me just expand this and let's come to the uh, newer version. Let me open settings here. And here we have got this all new layout. It's more of a tablet layout that we are seeing here. Let me expand this. This is how it looks on the newer version. 
Now here on the newer version, we do not have decks showing up on the top. Maybe they will fix it in the future. Uh, whereas on the uh, current version of the One UI 7, we do have deck settings right there on the top. So here we will have to search for decks. So let me just tap on search and I have already searched for decks. Okay, here we have got the Samsung decks. I will open this and now you can see these are the settings that we have. We just have four options here. Whereas on the previous version, we have got all these options showing up uh, on, a, on a single page. Now let me just go to the uh, connected display option here on the newer version. Now here you can see we got extended and mirrored option. We can change wallpapers, font size, screen zoom, and we've got display resolution. Now Samsung did speak about display resolution in the newer version uh, in the change log. They said it can go up to WQHD. Now this monitor is WQHD monitor, but when I select display resolution, I'm able to only see full HD and HD plus. And I've also changed the uh, WQHD resolution on the phone as well. Uh, for some reason, it is not showing up here. Maybe it is still in the works, but if you're interested to get up to WQHD, you can still do it on the previous version as well using the multi-star module on a good lock application. Uh, that is the display resolution that we are going to get on One UI 7. And you can also see we have got this display rotation option. We now can rotate 90 degree, 180 degree, 270 degree. Let's try this. I'll select 90 degree. There we go. In case we are using the monitor vertically, then this is going to be very, very useful. Let me just show you that here. Let's just rotate the display here. There we go. If you're using your display vertically, then that is how you can rotate the screen. Just in case if you're someone who want to use your DeX feature like this, you'll be able to do that now on the One UI 8. Now let me get this back to normal. And let's rotate this option here. There we go. That was a heck of a job. Now uh, let's check out the rest of the things. We also have screen timeout option here. Let me go back. Here we've got S Pen input and play sound on connected display. Now let's check the options here on the older version. We've got font size, screen zoom option here, screen timeout, wallpaper, display resolution, you can see it is by default full HD. I'm currently using DeX wirelessly on this particular display. So you might be seeing some lag here on the mouse pointer and uh, while opening the applications and all that. And uh, that is because it's wireless and the, on, on the other monitor, I'm using the wired display. Now uh, we've got app icon badges, taskbar, keyboard, mouse and trackpad, S Pen input mode, uh, how to use Samsung DeX. So there are a few more options, additional options here on the previous version, which may not be needed. So Samsung might have streamlined on the newer version like this, which we just saw. Now at the bottom, you can see we've got the calendar over here and we've got this new battery uh, indicator, the battery icon. Uh, and we have got these quick toggles here and we have got the Wi-Fi strength, Wi-Fi indicator and phone indicator. It's all in the same panel. And we have got the notifications right here. As you can see, this is the new notification panel. And uh, we also have uh, the uh, mute button right here, sound mute button. And we've got screenshot option right here. And uh, on the left-hand side, we have got recents, home and back arrow here. Whereas on the uh, older version, you can see on the left-hand side, we have got the app tray search and uh, we have got all those three uh, buttons which were uh, which are there on One UI 8. And on the right hand side bottom, you can see we have got similar options here. We have got the uh, calendar, the old battery bar with the old quick toggles here, and we have got the notification panel. This is how the notification panel looks on the previous version. And here we have got the sound bar. I have customized the sound bar using Sound Assistant and that is the reason you're seeing this uh, glittering or let's say uh, dynamic bars that you're seeing here. It is set up using the Sound Assistant module where we can customize the sound panel on the phone, uh, which I have not done on this, so it is not showing up here. So that is the uh, task bar that we have on uh, these two versions. Overall, there are some meaningful changes this time on the Samsung DeX, which is pretty cool. It is much more refreshing and it's more of a tablet UI that we now have on the latest version of uh, One UI 8, uh, especially this app tray here, which is very nice compared to the previous version. And this is still in beta, so let's hope that Samsung will further polish it. So for those of you who love Samsung DeX, you are going to love these changes. That's all I want to share with you guys. Let me know what you think about the new Samsung DeX on One UI 8. Drop a comment and while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like. Do not forget to hit the like button. Your likes will take this video to many more people. So go ahead, like the video. I would really appreciate that. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.